hello everyone in the previous videos we studied what is internal table what is work area what are the various ways to declare internal table and work area now we will start with the topic internal table operations means we will study the various commands or we can say we will study the various operations of the internal table. Now, firstly, we will start with first internal table operation that is append. Now, what is append internal table operation? If you want to insert data to internal table, we can insert data to internal table using append operation using append now the most important word is append insert data at the last of the internal table it means whatever the records we will insert to the internal table it will go to the last of the internal table if you remember we already cover a topic append structure in a BAP dictionary, we have a topic structure. At that time, we covered append structure. What is append structure at that point of time? It insert the columns at the last of the table. Same thing is here. Append is also a internal table operation which insert data at the last of the internal table. Suppose I have five records in the internal table. If I will insert a record using the append statement, it will go after five records only. Means it will go to the last of the internal table. So we will do the practical for the same. How we can use append to insert data to internal table. So I will go to the program which we created. We have so many ways to declare the internal table and work area. Suppose I will take only one way, rest parts I will comment. You all know how to comment. Select the rows, control plus comma. Now suppose I am commenting this table type line also. So I have a structure data type. I have a internal table, I have a work data. This internal table has how many columns? Two columns. What is first column? ONO. What is second column? PM. Now, with the help of append statement, suppose I will insert five records to this internal table. With the help of append, I will insert five records to the internal table. Now, again, golden rule. Firstly, we will, firstly, I will insert or I will pass the records one by one to work area, work area. You all know work area stores how many number of records? One record. So one by one, I will pass the record to work area first. Then from the work area, I will pass to internal table. So one by one, firstly work area, then internal table. Work area, internal table. Work area, internal table. So we'll see how we can do that. Now, firstly, what is the name of work area? Name of the work area is LWA data. Hyphen. So what is the first column in the work area? O N O. O N O. Suppose I am giving the value 1. Now always it's a golden rule in SAP that values always pass from right to left. Right to left. So this 1 is on which hand side? Right hand side. So it will go to which particular column of the work area? O and O. That's particular work area. Now 
you all know how to end a line using dot. Now I will give the name to the work area LWA data hyphen. But a second column in the work area payment mode PM is equal to suppose I am giving C and I am using quotes here, quotes here, because if you see that data type payment mode is of character type, character type. See, SAP editor is not case sensitive. You can write in capital, you can write in small, but values are always, always case sensitive. Small C and capital C has different meaning. Now, first record, First record I pass to what work area. Now, how we can pass the record to internal table? Now, what is the statement? Append. Append is a keyword itself. And I used tab after that so that append keyword is on the editor. Now, what is the name of work area? LWA data 2. Now, what is the name of internal table? LT underscore data. So, first record, firstly, we pass to work area. From the work area, we pass it to internal table. Now, always, always make a golden rule. And whenever topic will proceed, you will get so much clarity. After every append statement, Always make a practice. You will clear the work area. Clearing the work area means just where this work area will be reset to zero. Means there will be nothing in the work area. And slowly, slowly, this will make more more sense to you that why, why we are clearing the work area after every append statement. So first record, work area. From the work area, it went to internal table. And using which particular operation? Append statement. And with the syntax of append, append work area to internal table. Now, I will go for second record. So, I'll simply copy and paste. Suppose I am going for, suppose order number one again. Suppose I am going for payment mode. T and second record also went to internal table and I am clearing the work area. Suppose now I will go for third record. Suppose order number is 2. Suppose payment mode is C. So third record is in work area. From the work area, it went to internal table and we clear the work area. Now, I will go for fourth record. Suppose order number is 2, payment mode is D. Fourth record from the internal table went to work area. Now, I will go for fifth record. Order number 3. Suppose payment mode C and fifth record is also in the internal table. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate the program. For the bestest understanding, I will show you this in the debugging mode. Those who want to learn debugging, we have a separate playlist available for the debugging. But as of now, if you don't know debugging, no problem. I will just go for a few, few things which you can apply at this point of time itself. So firstly, I will put a break point. I will put a break point on 18th number line. I am executing the program. I will go to desktop 3. Desktop 3 is most, most preferable. If you don't know debugging, no problem. At least you can try up to this level. Now, what is the name of internal table? Pass here. LT underscore data. 
वट इज द नेम ऑफ वर्क एरिया एल डब्ल्यू ए अंडर स्कोर डेटा नाउ आई विल शो यू द इंटरनल टेबल एंड वर्क एरिया सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इंटरनल टेबल लुक लाइक how work area look like if i will double click on this internal table have you seen is this in the form of a table yes it is in the form of a table you can see we have horizontal rows we have vertical columns how many columns two columns what is first column ono and pm and these are the rows but as of now we have how many record zero records in the internal table now many time people ask what is this row column it is automatically given by the sap and it will take the row number it will take the index of the row yes so we have a internal table how many column two columns how many rows zero rows as of now and you can see it is in the form of table table i'll go to desktop 3 and from here itself you can tell to anyone how many records zero record how many column two column now i will show you work area have you seen work area also has how many column two column o n o n p m but it is not in the form of a table we already covered work area is never never a table never and you can see it can only take one record at a time one record at a time now we will proceed currently i am on 18th number line now if i will debug you can see with, with if you want to debug line by line you can use f6 key those who don't know debugging no problem but just remember with the help of f6 key you can debug line to line line by line i am on 18th number line i am doing f6 now i am on 19th number line and on 18th number line what you did order number when one went to work area if i'll show you work area you can see order number 1 is in the work area now i will go for again f6 now 19th number line execute and if you see the payment mode c went to work area now from the work area we are inserting the record to internal table internal table now whenever i will do f6 you can see append statement executed and you can see now internal table has how many record first record first record now you can understand the significance of row column also which sap gave automatically what is the index of this row what is the row number of this particular record one now first record is in the internal table now i will execute this line using f6 key and you can see our work area cleared work area cleared so if i'll show you the work area you can see work area is a completely completely blank now we'll go for second record i am doing f6 i am doing f6 i am on which particular line now 25th number line so this one and d move to what work area if i'll show you work area you can see one and d is in the work area from the work area we will insert to internal table i am doing f6 and you can see this append statement executed second time and you can see how many records now two records and you can see what the second record now one and d and what is the index of the row what is the row number automatically two and we covered append always insert at the last of the internal table this record was previously there next record came after that only it is always at the last of the internal table now i will clear the work area 
if I'm going for F6, now you can see work area is blank completely. Now we will go for third record. F6, F6. Third record is in the work area now. Now third record will go to internal table. And you can see we have three records in the internal table. And we are clearing the work area. Work area again is blank. Now fourth record to work area. Fourth record is in the work area. Fourth record will go to internal table. You can see we have four records in the internal table. And we are clearing the work area. Work area is blank as of now. Now we have the fifth record. Fifth record is in the work area. And fifth record will go to internal table. And you can see we have five records in the internal table. Automatically, what is the row values? One, two, three, four, five. Index of the rows. And always, always the record is coming at the last of the internal table. And I showed you in debugging mode how one by one data is going to the internal table. So what we studied in this particular video, we started with internal table operation append. Append always insert the data at the last of the internal table. And what is the syntax of the append? Append work area to internal table. You can move the record one by one to work area from the work area to internal table. And always make a golden rule that you should always clear the work area after every append statement. Now in the next video, we will display these five records which we inserted to the internal table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.